What's new? What's happening? What's fun? It's Holly Strano and Michael Cardamone with Live on Lakeside. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Live on Lakeside Friday edition, May 17th. I'm Michael Cardamone, and this one's very, very oh, happy. Is it just me, or aren't you so glad it's Friday? I'm Holly Strano. Our next guest was a quarterfinalist on the second season of The Voice. She was on Team CeeLo. You're going to be so excited to see her. Yes, along with two organizers from the Cleveland Asian Festival. Chessa, Yin Tang, and Lisa Wong. Thank you so much for coming on and the Panda, show. And Panda. Oh, and Panda. Hi, Panda. <laughs> Sorry. So good they to always, see you all. It's like the drummers. You always forget the panda that's in hey, the Thanks for being up with us because oh, she was on the early, early yeah. show this morning, too. So we appreciate that. All right. Before we get to the Asian Festival, we have to talk about The Voice, if, if we may. Do you sure. follow the show now? Do you get to watch it? With, and obviously with a different perspective. I do. I do. I watch it. Um, different perspective. I feel for these contestants. Every time I watch it, I'm like, oh, my God. I know exactly how they feel. And like, I watched last, um, last week when they were eliminating the people. And I'm just like, I know exactly how that process this feels like it's, it's stressful, but Look at you know, go. it's cool. Yeah, you oh, got some pipes. <laughs> man, your voice is beautiful. Thank you. Christina's analyzing it right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, what do you think of the judges? Yeah. I mean, I know Team CeeLo, he's off. I mean, but, and you don't know. What about the whole Shakira, Christina? I don't know. I, I love um, Shakira this season. I, th I feel I like she too. really cares about her team. I, I love the way she pre um, presents herself, and, yeah. you know, it's great. Yeah. Well, I like Shakira. I too. know we do too. We, we, we had this discussion. <laughs> Actually, I think that they were, they uh, made an announcement that they'll come back, uh, Shakira and Usher, for next oh, we'll season say. six, okay. but they'll bring Christina and CeeLo back. So. And, and quickly, before we talk about other things, was it nerve wracking every single time, or did you get to a point where you were a little more like at ease because you had just been up there so much? No, I, I don't think you'll ever feel like that. You know, every week is like a, t a new test, so yeah. you'll always feel the pressure that is on every, every time. week. Yeah. yeah. And Ian, you have to be excited for the Asian Festival. I mean, just having her yeah, is, is big, big. But Quite there's going to the be, jaw. on top of what she's going to be doing, tell us what other performances people can expect. Well, um, we try to get a, a wide variety of different cultural performances. We're going to have Indian performances, other Filipino performances, and in honor for Chessa, we have a hula performance right before hey. her on Sunday. So he's oh, here for us. Oh, you should have got up on Sunday. I know, right? <laughs> well, it's okay. She's got her new album called Naked. Yes. yes. And I'm um, go, go <laughs> <laughs> She's really yes. awesome. So <laughs> we've been hanging out all morning cuz oh, you know, awesome. we've been here for a couple hours, but <laughs> but yeah, we have a ton of food. We have a wide variety of culture Asian cultural performances and uh, a fashion exhibition as well where you'll get to actually hear and understand what the people are wearing and why. Lisa, this is so good for the Asian community. It is. It's it going to be so awesome this weekend too. The weather looks amazing. Yes, yeah. can't wait. And what can people what it, it, what can people expect when they do come and and just check out the the neighborhood, the Asian culture that they haven't learned before? What's what what do you think that the biggest surprise is going to be? Biggest surprise? Um, we've got a lot of exhibit over a hundred exhibitors this year. We have over twenty authentic food um, vendors in the food court. We also have free tours of Asia Town on our trolley provided by the Metro Parks, so you can take a free tour through Asia Town and learn about the other businesses in the area. And I'm glad you brought that up because you and I talked about this earlier this week. Asia right. Town, it's awesome. Yeah. And and people I don't think realize that we even have an Asia Town. Right. Go down and check it out. Oh, the culture, sure. the history of take it. Take the whole family. You know, you know? It, it, take the whole family. Go down to this event and, and just check out what this neighborhood really has to offer and uh, they'll keep coming back. And maybe you can keep coming back and uh, so. do a happy hour gig or something. <laughs> just put the cover of your <laughs> thing up. You back to the. But are you excited about the album? I am. It already dropped, and um, you know I'm very excited about it. It's more than just being naked on my cover. You know, it's about me revealing who I am personally. So. Oh, so there's a message there. There's a message. See? Yes, there yes. is. And and do you you do know that if you do a cover like that, I mean it, you're gonna get people <laughs> talking in the back of your mind. Did you no. do that as well? Um. Yeah. It, yeah, partially, yes. But the biggest thing for me was about self-acceptance and just, you know, teaching girls to just love who they are, love their body, love their flaws and all. So that's my biggest goal with yeah. the album. So. I respect you for that. I think oh, that's thank great. You. Yeah, it's, and it takes a lot to do something like... You've got such a powerful voice. Oh, I thought you were going to say something else. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> I don't. Do you ha how much do you have to rest in between <laughs> gigs? Because you you do you belt out those songs. Um, what did you think? I'm going to ask you to break. What did you think I was going to ask you? Um, My chest off. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it is. It's it's very strenuous yeah. on my me. You know, I have to sing these big songs, so it's definitely hard, it's difficult. So. Yeah. You can tell me what you thought I was going to ask you. All right, <laughs> go check it out. The Cleveland Asian Festival, the 18th and the 19th, down on Payne Avenue between East 30th and East 27th. It's free. So go down and experience something that you never experienced before, clevelandasianfestival.org, for more information. Thank you all for being here. Thank really good to you. see you. All right. If money was no object.